What we're doing today is we are putting rabbit netting on a house yard. So we've run our plane wires, installed our gas star posts, and the next job is running the netting and straining it. Let's get into it. We've got some 6mm stainless rod and we screw this to the post and then fold the netting back around. We then secure it on with U-clips and 3.8 drive tech screws and it gives it all a nice neat professional finish. It also, because it's quite a stiff rod, it actually is useful for putting a little bit of strain to the post as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our threaded rod and Dave's pinned it up so the netting's flowing Neatly, we've got a slight fall in the ground here, so we're going to make our rod vertical. So it's not necessarily going to go through the same strip of netting all the way down. We'll just weave it through like this. So now we're just checking that our rod is vertical and it's sitting at the top support wire and the bottom support wire. We've got a little bit of a drop here below, that doesn't matter. These were cut for 900 high netting and this is 1050, but it'll still work. So what we've got to do now is fold our netting back around. Cool, now the next process is to tech screw it on. So Dave's just holding the netting at the right spot there. We put our new clip in, get it to where we want it. I won't do this one super tight yet, just so we can get the bottom one in the right spot. Make sure we haven't got any wires. Now we'll finish this top one. So now we've got our two support wire clips set up. We'll screw them in. Make sure the clip's nice and flat. And now this just folds back around. We trim it off. And when we come to the point of clipping it, we'll clip that all in nice and, neat and flat. So we just find a good spot to trim it. We'll probably go down this line here. So this is how the loose end now looks. It's ready to be clipped once it's strained at the other end. All we have to do is run it around the corner, strain it at the other end, and then come back and clip it off. Dave's running the netting out with the ute, and I'm just pinning it up behind on the leading edge so that when you strain it, the little tie moves along. And then when we get to the end, it'll be all nicely standing up vertically. We've run out of our last roll of netting, so now we're up to the second roll. So we're going to join it, and the way we join it is lining up the hexagons as best we can, starting clipping from the top down to the bottom. Now we've finished the join, as you can see, it's come up really well. The more time you take in making sure they line up, the better the outcome will be. And from a distance, you shouldn't be able to see it at all. So now we're up to the other end. I'm gonna cut it a bit past the post, so then I don't have to try and walk over it backwards and forwards. I'm cutting it a bit past the post, so I've given myself plenty of netting to play with when I go to strain it. So now I'm up to the bottom set of strainers. I've put a little bit of tension on the top one just so it holds in place well and it doesn't flop around. So as I'm straining the top and bottom, James is going down to the corner to make sure it pulls around the post nice and easy. So as we're straining, I like to go one or two links at a time 
just so it pulls nice and evenly. We don't overstrain either the top or the bottom. Jim has given us the all clear that it's all tight enough. So now we're going to repeat the same processes up there by putting the alloy rod through the netting and screw it to the post. So what we're going to do is we've got to set our rod through a tiny bit offset from the post and you actually use the weight of the tech screws to provide that little bit of strain for this last section. So that's a little bit of guesswork but I think that will pull in pretty good there. So we've set up our stainless rod one diamond back from where it actually wants to be. And that's because we're going to use the tech screw to add a little bit more strain to the fence. So I'll pull that around to that there. And that's taken more of the slack out. Now we'll just repeat the procedure all the way to the bottom. So it's a little bit easier at this end to fold it back and cut it off because we've already got it screwed on. Just punch that down nice and flat. And then trim it up. James is cutting quicker than you, Dave. I know, I heard him start going and I'm like, ah, oh, he can win. <laughs> so what we're doing now is we're just going to screw the corner off. Blends down their clipping and we're just going to put our two hole plates on here so that the wire can't travel up or down or slip around the post. So all you do is find the peak of the post, the point where it's right angles. And you know it's tight when the plate has got a bend in it. There's a million different processes and ways you could actually do this, but the general principle is you've got to get the top neat. So what we're going to do is go forward, clip back along the top and along the bottom. You could do clip runs all the way up and down. It doesn't really matter, but the single most important thing is getting your top right so you don't have a belly in the netting. Nothing like a good clip gun. So we're just clipping our uh, tail of netting back to make it look nice and neat. Now you've got a good view of how the stainless rod looks. Four uh, U-clips and tech screws takes all the uh, slack out of it. Looks very neat. And that's how to tie and clip off a netting fence. Looks good, nice and neat. Like and subscribe to Walters Fencing for more great content like this. Cheers. And play. <laughs> What was I going to say? Over here tightening dribbles. What we're doing today is we are putting rabbit netting on it. I'm one taking this. <laughs> I'm very confused. What do you want me to do? And ah, <laughs> that up. It's not a threaded rod. Netting at the right spot. We're going. Oh, sorry. I hit my elbow on the wire. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>